Okay, so I just wanted to make a short little tutorial explaining how to make renders in Blender for a VR headset such as the Oculus Go or any sort of VR headset like that. Um, I'm not too sure if it works on mobile VR headsets such as Google Cardboard and all that, but this is what I use um, since I have an Oculus Go. Um, and there's not too many tutorials out there showing how to render in VR. So, I, um, basically, so this is the character I want to render. Right now, um, if I go to the camera, it's just a normal camera view, as you can see. Um, so if I render that, it's going to be that. It's going to look like that. Um, that's definitely not what you want for VR. Um, so what you have to do is set it up so it renders one image for each eye. Um, keep in mind this is a 3D. It's going to be a 3D VR render. So we want to render one image per eye. Um, so what you do is you go up to the render setting. Um, if I click render, it's not going to work right now. So we have to set up the 3D VR effect. Um, alright, let's see, so the resolution, um, you want to set that at, um, I'd say 4 to 8K, um, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it, um, just at that, um, so you want to go, where is it, camera settings, you know, when it changes to panoramic, uh, type, Equirectangular, which is the last option there. Um, and then you go over to... Where is it? Views. Tick views. Uh, make sure it's on stereo 3D. Um, not multi-view. Stereo 3D. Um, untick denoising because my blender crashes for some reason when I do that. Um, hmm. So you see here the camera still looks um, like that. That's because the resolution I chosen here is um, not a normal resolution. So we'll set that to. I'll just set it to this for now. That um, pretty. Yeah, that that should work. Um, let's see. Yeah, Hundred percent. Why not? Ah, uh, fifty. Just to make it quicker. Um, uh, also keep in mind I'm using <coughs> I'm using Blender. Uh, 2.78, um, no, sorry, Blender 2.79, uh, this currently doesn't work in Blender 2.8 in the EV render engine, but it definitely works in 2.8, uh, Cycles render. Um, I hope, I hope soon EV supports a VR renderer, but, um, for now we just have this. Um, so, if you go... To the camera. See the camera has um, basically two colors now which represents one uh, each render for each eye. Um, so I want to get the effect working good. So I want to just clarify that people I've seen tilt the camera so if you want a VR image and you want to like tilt the camera at the face, um, that's going to tilt uh, your perspective in the VR headset. So when you're in VR and you want to look at this image, the whole environment will be tilted down because your headset render viewport like has been tilted upwards and it's just, it, it really does make you feel kind of weird. Um, so you make sure that's, uh, cancelled out, um, just zeroed the rotation here, and then we want to rotate it 90 degrees this way, so, uh, 90. There we go. And just keep in mind, your eyes are here, not over here. So let's put it right here. So it's as if we're standing right in front of her. Um, let's put it here. So here, this is a good view. 
Um, let's see, so you can change the distance between um, these two angles. If I just go down to... No, it's not that. I'm pretty sure it's in here. Yep, stereoscopy. Stereoscopy. I don't know how to pronounce that. But, yep, um, off axis is fine. Uh, what you want to change is this one here. Um, usually the default value is fine, but if you find that when you preview it in your VR headset, um, that the characters are giant, or they seem really far away, um, either your camera is too far away, or your distance here is too close. So the closer you have it, um, basically the bigger the scene is going to look. So if you do it like this, it's going to make her seem like she's smaller than she actually is. Where if you do it that, she's going to look massive. Um, because this is basically changing the distance between your eyes. So if you're really small, the distance is smaller. If you're a really big person, the distance between your eyes is bigger. Um, that's the best way I can explain it, but I usually keep mine too. I usually just experiment and then render, uh, like, so I think this is what you should be going for right now. Um, so yeah, we should give that a quick render. Uh, hopefully it doesn't play animation that I've said. So we hit F12. It'll start to render the image. Okay, so the render is now finished. Um, I know this looks really weird, like her leg is stretched out like crazy at the bottom, but trust me, this is how it's supposed to look. Um, because this image is basically getting wrapped around in a giant sphere around you. So that's what it would look like if it was unwrapped. Um, as you can see, we have both of the, both of the views. Um, these aren't going to stay red and blue in the VR headset, they're going to go to their normal colours. Um, the Blender just does that to help you identify which eye is which. Um, so what you want to do now is export the image. Um, let's see, uh, image, save as image. I'm just going to chuck it in blender.jig. Yeah, I'll call that PRJ in cap tools. So it's easy, easy to find. Alright, save. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to plug your, if you're using Oculus Go, you plug in your headset to your computer and you should be able to see the file system come up. So I'll quickly just do that now. Alright, so once you've dragged your image onto your Oculus, um, on the Oculus Go, uh, it should be in um, your gallery. Uh, I'll quickly show you what that looks like through the headset. So, let's go. Right, so, as you can see, it has worked perfectly fine. Let's see if we can get it to focus. I oh, highly doubt it will. Um, yeah, well, it worked. See, her legs look fine. I'll move the headset around, it works fine. Now keep in mind this is only coming through one eye, so it's not going to look 3D, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Alright, that's me out. I'll catch you later, guys.